contingent of the 41st Rescue Squadron is out here in Lancaster, Texas um, to practice something we call basic helicopter maneuvering, which is essentially flying our helicopters and using our own tactics against an adversary helicopter. Specifically what's sitting behind me is a Mi-24, it's a hind helicopter that it's a threat replication that we can't get anywhere else. Uh, there's only a few that exist in the country and we were able to come out here and fight against an actual threat helicopter so we get an accurate representation both visually and aerodynamically of a threat helicopter that we can't get anywhere else. So the HH-60 Whiskey has never been put into this kind of scenario before. This is the first time that we're testing the Whiskey out against an adversary like this, against the Hind. So it's really proving our, our techniques and the way that we're able to employ the Whiskey uh, and getting us one step closer uh, to be comfortable in taking it into combat. If we find ourselves in a theater that has a bunch of Hinds, and Hinds are very prolific throughout the world, uh, this will better prepare us to uh, not have to replicate anything uh, outside of training like we normally would at Moody. We get to fly the real thing, we get to see the real capabilities and real limits of the aircraft. With all kinds of aircraft, the whiskeys uh, have specific advantages and the hind have advantages as well. The hind is, is a lot bigger, uh, weighs a lot more, and it, and it goes a lot faster than the whiskeys do. Uh, but the whiskeys are uh, better in other ways, so we're a little smaller, a little more nimble. We have a little bit uh, more maneuverability, so we'll be putting that to the test and trying to use the advantages we have. When we take a two ship of helicopters, uh, we take the responsibilities that a flight lead has and our special missions aviators in the back, and we combine all of that crew resource management to physically maneuver formation through the sky against another helicopter. So in this case, that's the hind, uh, but it's a very different feel when you're having to maneuver, uh, manage a formation as a flight lead or direct a formation as a special mission aviator in the back when there's an actual threat aircraft coming towards you. It's very easy during normal training sorties uh, to do this choreographed, pre-brief, scripted kind of thing uh, in your aircraft and within the formation. It's much more difficult when you add in that third player, in this case a hind, that everyone in the formation, like if they can take, at any point in time, they can take what's called tack lead and make a directive call that may be what saves the formation. So it, this training is an opportunity to really bolster people's confidence and let them know when they need to speak up, take that tack lead, make a directive call uh, that could be the difference between a formation coming back uh, or not.